All right, today we're going to talk about something that had me struggling trying to figure out how to make a playlist in free show. So maybe you got a, um, a countdown timer or something like that that you got before your presentation. Uh, maybe it's a live stream. Maybe it's a ministry meeting. Maybe it's a uh, presentation uh, in a, in a uh, for Zoom or whatever it may be. And you want to just play some generic music or you want to play some worship music or whatever it may be. Um, free show allows you to make a playlist. And so today we're going to look at how to do that. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your audio tab, which is where I'm at. So we got media, we got shows, media, and we're going to go to audio. And the next thing we're going to do is go down to this very bottom corner. This is where I got lost. I didn't see this down here at the bottom right. There's an option that just says new playlist. And so you click on that and I'm going to call this uh, downloaded music. Uh, download. I'm going to just call this. Um, new beats all right and so i got a new beats playlist here i don't have any music there yet so now i need to add some music so i've got some folders here the default like the music folder the download folder but i'm going to go down and actually make a new folder this is going to let me find it in my computer so i'm going to select new folder and i'm going to point this to a folder i just made called downloaded music and i've downloaded some music from artlist and so it shows up here all right, so I've got all my music here that I've downloaded. The unique thing about this is people don't download a lot of music these days, but if you want to own your music, you can buy it, you know, from your favorite interface, whatever it may be, uh, buy the CD, you know, some churches or ministries still use CDs, so you can export those, um, load them up to your computer and have them to where you can actually play them straight from your uh, free show program. But we've got our downloaded music here and I've got, you know, seven, eight, whatever many songs there are there. I want to put them into my new beats folder or playlist, I should say. So I can go over here, just drag it over into new beats. It puts it there and we'll put this one in and we'll put this one in and this one into new beats. All right. And so now I've got this playlist of different songs that I've downloaded. They're on my computer. They're not going to play any commercials or anything like that. Like you might run into on like a YouTube playlist or something like that. So now you can just go down here and just click play and those songs will begin to play. All right. So now they're playing. I can actually go to a show. Um, let's say I want to run some scriptures or something like that. You can put those up by hitting play there. The, the songs are still playing, right? So maybe you've got uh, another show you want to play. So we go to our shows, and let's say uh, I've got a show here. Maybe I want to run this show with a timer on it. And so I can go there, and that is playing. The show is going to loop every 10 seconds is the way I've got it set. And this music can play, and I can go to my timers, and I can start that timer so it can count down. And this is the ideal way that you would use this is it would be playing while that's going and so I can go to my audio I'll turn this down just a bit so you guys can hear me a little bit better but so you can actually adjust the volume of your music while it's coming out of your computer on for your you know live stream for your ministry whatever it may be uh, for the you know this the show in-house uh, you can adjust the volume and all that stuff you can skip up I've got mine set to where the music will loop so you might put 15 or 20 songs in here and they can range uh, from, to cover the course of a whole hour, you can make it loop and it can just play nonstop. Uh, you can put a few songs in there and make it loop and it'll still play nonstop. Uh, but this is how you make a playlist in free show. So let me pause the music. Let's recap real quick. So what we did is we went to the audio folder. Um, we clicked on it and then we went to, let's see here, media. And then we go to audio and we're in a, a playlist right now. So if we go out of that and we'll go to, I don't know, microphones or, downloaded music or something like that you can go to this option so you got to be in a folder or something along those lines and then you can hit this option on the bottom right that says new playlist and then you will find your music from a folder that you got we actually created a new folder uh, that pointed to some other folder in our computer and then you just drag those songs into the playlist that you want all right and so you have your playlist you can play the songs you can random make them play random you can make it play in a loop but this comes in handy. You can just make your slides like you've got here, make a timer if you want to, and then have the music controlled separately to where it plays randomly right there. And that is how to make a playlist in Free Show.